All right, Saturday, the 21st of February, 2015. And what are those? Socks. I'm drying on my IKEA light. Terrible excitement, wonderful excitement, disturbing excitement. About two weeks ago, I prayed to God of the Christian Bible, and I prayed that he give me a sign that healing was possible would come indeed for me. I've been in chronic pain for 34 years. My girlfriend broke her back and she's in chronic pain for 10 years. And in the mail it came. No, in my files it came. <laughs> this letter, 32 years old, from a 95-year-old man came as I was preparing can't go any further. It hurts my back. These, these are all writings that I've done, either journals or letters or converse, spoken word conversations. And within those letters, I found a letter from Dr. Lit Sing Chang. It's dated Easter 1982. I believe he was 95 years old when, when I met him in the uh, dining hall at, at under the Towers of Gloom at Wheaton College, and I sat next to him, and I thought, 90 years old, 91, 92, this guy must be a janitor. He didn't look that old. He looked about 70. And I thank God I lit my, bit my tongue. I asked him if he was a student, and he just roared. He guffawed with laughter. And uh, he's happened to be Chinese with glasses. I'm trying to set the image in your mind. And he said, me a student? No, I, uh, seminary president. You know, I can't do the accent. But uh, he is world renowned and his writings will live forever. He's 95 and 82, so of course he's passed. But what he said in the letter was that greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Uh, and that he had a sense that I would be healed soon. This is 32 years ago. And then on the other side, it tells about his stuff when he had a broken back and uh, he was going to Wheaton and all of his family told him not to go, his son. I twisted my back. I could barely get up from bed, he says, standing from my seat as if my spine had been broken. All my family, even my eldest one in the Far East, opposed me to go to Wheaton College in Illinois. But the Lord will heal me in time, and that's what I trusted. As soon as I uh, got off my feet, the priests were dipped in the brim of water of Jordan. I was talking about a Bible verse. And the, um, after six days of prayer, I was led to open a care of the back. It's a pamphlet written by two medical doctors. After reading and practicing on the seventh morning, my, no sooner, no later, my back had no pain. And I could get up from my bed without difficulty. And he had another amazing thing happen with his teeth that just... And none of these things happened until he moved in faith. And I thought, wow, this guy is 90, 95 years old, moving in faith, getting on a plane with what might be a broken back, you know. He had terrible problems with his teeth and he's scheduled to speech. He said he would spit his teeth out. And amazingly, miraculously, they were healed. So, you know, I just, I'm just praying for my girlfriend Bernadette and I'm praying for myself that we can heed the lesson of a very wise man who's gone on to be with the Lord, what, uh, sounds so freaking religious. I, I, I want to drop some f bombs, man, and some mother f bombs. But that's the excitement I face. I don't have the money to keep this apartment. It was an apartment, and I want to convert it to a studio. But I don't have the money to do that, and I'm just trusting that some miracle, some amazing thing will happen. Thanks a lot. Enjoy faces of poetry. Bye.